This is part 8 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the basics of JavaScript. If you're already familiar with the basics, then you may skip this video. In this video, we'll discuss if JavaScript is case sensitive, comments and data types in JavaScript. Is JavaScript case sensitive? Yes, JavaScript is case sensitive programming language. Variable names, keywords, methods, object properties and even handlers all are case sensitive. Here we have two examples. Notice that within example 1 we are using alert function and all the letters within the function name are small letters. So this is going to work as expected. If you look at example 2, notice that within the alert function letter A is capitalized. Now this alert function is different from this alert. JavaScript only knows about this alert function with all small letters within its name. It doesn't know anything about you know alert function with capital letter A. So this example is not going to work as expected. It is going to throw not defined error. And if you want to see that JavaScript error, press F12 key. This F12 key is going to work with all the three browsers that is Chrome, IE and Firefox. Let's look at this quickly in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we are using the alert function with all small letters. When we run this, as you might expect, JavaScript basics tutorial should be displayed in an alert box. Now let's change it to use capital letter A and let's save these changes and let's reload this web form. Notice that the alert box is not displayed and if you want to look at the JavaScript error, press F12 key which is going to launch the developer tools and within the console notice that we have that JavaScript error, uncaught reference error, alert is not defined. It doesn't know anything about this alert with capital letter A since JavaScript is case sensitive. And the same is true even for variables. For example, if you create a variable, we use var keyword to create a variable in JavaScript. For example, let's say I'm creating a variable with name str and let's say hello is the value within that. And now if I use alert str, then this one is going to work as expected. So when we reload this, we should see hello within the alert box. But then instead of, you know, capital I mean all small letters within the variable name. If I use capital letter S here, so this variable is different from this variable. JavaScript doesn't know anything about this variable. So when we reload the page, it's going to give us an error. Again, uncaught reference error, str is not defined. JavaScript doesn't know anything about it. Now let's look at comments in JavaScript. There are two types of comments in JavaScript, single line and multi-line. Just like C-sharp, single line comments start with forward slash, forward slash, and the comment ends at the end of the line. So that's a single line comment. Multi-line comment begins with forward slash, asterisk, and then you can have as many lines of comments as you want, and then it should end with asterisk, forward slash. Now let's look at data types in JavaScript. We have three broad categories of data types in JavaScript, numeric, boolean, and string. Now, we don't have separate data types for integer, float, decimals, etc. You know, all are numbers. And Boolean is going to store true or false. Strings should be in quotes, either double quotes or single quotes. To create a variable in JavaScript, we use var keyword. We have just seen that, and variable names are also case sensitive. In C sharp, to create an integer variable, we use the int keyword. And to create a string variable, we use string keyword. But with JavaScript, we always use var keyword to create any type of variable. Based on the value that is assigned to the variable, the type of that variable is inferred. For example, here we are creating variable a, and we have assigned number 10 to it. So a here is a numeric type. And for variable b, we are assigning a string, so the type of this variable is string. And again, in C-sharp, you cannot assign a string value to an integer variable. So here, x is an integer variable, right? We have assigned value 10 to it, and its data type is integer. And in the next line, we are trying to store a string in an integer variable. Now, C-sharp is going to raise a compiler error. It will not allow us to do this. but JavaScript is a dynamically typed language. This means JavaScript data types are converted 
automatically as needed during script execution. If you look at this example, notice that this my variable is first uh, storing a number that is 100 and then we are storing a string literal here. So we store 100 into this variable. So here it is treated as a numeric type and then we are displaying that um, within an alert and then we are storing a string into that variable. So here it is treated as um, a string type and then again we are displaying that in an alert. So let's quickly look at that in action if, if that works as expected. So I have this exact same code already typed. So let's paste that here. And let's run this. So first it should display 100 and then once I click OK on that alert box, it should then display the string assigning a string value. When a plus operator is used with two numbers, JavaScript adds those numbers. So here we have A and B. We have stored two numeric types within those variables and variable C equals A plus B. So what is JavaScript going to do? It's going to add 10 and 20 and then it's going to display 30 as expected. When a plus operator is used with two strings, JavaScript is going to concatenate those two strings. So we have hello within A, JavaScript within B. Notice that there is uh, one space at the end, um, at the end of hello word. And then C equals A plus B. So here we are applying the plus operator on two strings. So JavaScript knows to concatenate those two strings. And the output will be hello JavaScript. When a plus operator is used with a string and a number, JavaScript converts the numeric value to a string and performs concatenation. So here within A, we have a string and within B, we have a number and we are applying the plus operator here. So what is JavaScript going to do? It's going to convert this numeric value to a string and performs string concatenation. So we get the output number is 10. And here we have 50, again represented as a string because that's present inside codes. And then we have 10. Now when you apply a plus operator, don't expect it to return 60. Instead, what it will do is concatenate 10 with 50 and it's going to give you 50, 10. But if you use a minus operator, notice that here 50, you know, though it's a number, it's present in a string format. And then within B, we have 10. So A is string and B is numeric and but we are using minus operator here so we will get the output uh, 40 here. In this case the string is converted to a numeric type the minus operation is performed and we get 40. Thank you for listening and have a great day.